Hey guys, what's up? It is Gamma Mickey and you have joined us again on our Fridley for Disney channel. And today, I have some exciting news. I'm going to be announcing our 2020 Disney vacation. That's right, even with this coronavirus, I don't care. We are still planning to go to Disney World. Right, Cindy? So September seems to be work, works out perfect for us because we run dance studios in uh, Kansas that are competition studios. So our summer months are all busy doing nationals and prepping for the new season. Usually in the winter, we are really focused on trying to get things moving and grooving for competitions and competitions literally run from winter, the end of winter until the summertime. So with that being said, the only time that seems to always tend to work out best for us is at the beginning of the school year, which is usually in September, which usually is low attendance time. But uh, who knows with this coronavirus right now? I have no idea if they will reopen, reshut, who knows what's going to happen, but we're not going to let it hold us back. So we're gonna keep planning our vacation. And here is the announcements for our vacation. I am super, super excited about going to Walt Disney World again. And I am even more excited for this vacation than the last one because each vacation seems to get a little bit longer and a little bit better with more exciting things happening. So this year, our dates for um, our September vacation is now going to be 11 days. 11 days of vacation fun. So we start out our first three days of our vacation. We are gonna be going to the Lowe's Pacific Resort Hotel. It's the Royal Pacific um, Hotel that is associated with the Universal theme parks because Courtney is obsessed with Harry Potter. If you didn't know about that, you can check out the videos that we have posted up on our YouTube channel where you can see her crying as she sees the Hogwarts train, which is, it's adorable, even though she's like 28 years old, but it's still adorable that she's that obsessed with Harry Potter. Um, yes, so we are gonna be spending our first three days of our Disney vacation down at the Lowe's Royal Pacific um, hotel and we're gonna have one day in the theme parks it'll be a lot of fun the main reason why we choose those places is because of the Express Pass availability for the people that stay at those hotels now the other perk is Courtney has a staying at club level and if you watched our September 2019 vlog series you saw that when we stayed at the Portofino I love the club that's right I love the club so <laughs> We're gonna be doing that again, and I am super excited. Now, I'll get more into details about my thoughts about the Royal Pacific versus uh, the Portofino in, a new, in another video coming up, so please stay tuned for that, okay? All right, um, so we are gonna be doing three days there, and then we are moving over to the Walt Disney Resorts, and we are gonna be spending an entire nine days. Last time we did five days, so we're adding a whole nother four days to our Walt Disney World experience. Now, what makes this even more spectacular? Oh my gosh, we are staying deluxe. <laughs> There are three levels that you can stay at when you're staying at the resorts. They have the value resort, then they have the moderate resort, and we they have the deluxe resort. Now we have stayed moderate, we have stayed value, and we've even stayed deluxe at one time. But this is the first time ever we are staying deluxe monorail. Now if you don't understand what that means is usually there are only three hotels or resort hotels that are connected to the monorail that go to Magic Kingdom and to Epcot. We are staying at one of those. And I'm super excited to announce it is the contemporary 
where we are finally going to stay. I've always wanted to stay there. Um, it has always been like a dream of mine because they have Chef Mickey's there at the Contemporary Resort. I can walk to Magic Kingdom. I wanted to be as close to the Magic Kingdom as I could. That is my favorite, favorite park out of the entire parks at Walt Disney World. So. I wanted to be as close as possible I could get to getting into the Magic Kingdom and I can walk to it or I can monorail to it and I'm super excited. <laughs> we also have gone ahead and we have locked down all of our dining reservations. We have the dining plan that we are staying with that as well. We're not doing the deluxe dining, but we are doing the next tier down, which is the dining plan where you get um, two, I believe it's two um, quick service meals and then you get one table service meal with your um, dining reservation. We also added to this vacation the picture thing. I don't remember what it's called. I'll put it right here. <laughs> we didn't do that before and we're super bummed because they were great pictures that we missed out on and all they have is those stupid watermarks over them. So we missed out like this awesome picture that we had with Aubrey and <clears throat> Belle. And then there was like some great ride pictures that you would have, I would have loved to have had, but you can't see it because they have the watermark all over them. And we just didn't want to spend like $20 a picture. So this time we are going ahead and we're getting this photo pass so we can add it to our experience of awesomeness and magical moments. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Especially because we've been locked down in this Corona thing. It's, it's just nuts. Okay, so the other thing that we're gonna be doing is I am going to be uploading every day up until we get to the parks, a little small, like just an update. What's been going on, where we're at with our planning, especially once we hit that 60 day mark out because that's when we can start booking our fast passes for each day. I'll also be giving you an itinerary and a rundown of each actual day what we're planning to do where we're planning to eat I want you to be a part of all of this with us so that you can experience that in, in total detail of everything Madeline will be doing um, some haul videos uh, showing some stuff that she's getting on Etsy for Aubrey it's gonna be a lot of fun um, we are going to be doing all kinds of stuff to getting us ready for this vacation. And as I keep praying and hoping that Disney parks will be reopening and that they will be able to um, get back to some kind of normalcy, we are hoping that this coronavirus thing will just finally slow down to where we can all get back to some magical moments in the Disney parks. I, I know this is killing us all. It's not just me. It's everyone that has as much love and passion for Disney as we do. It, it drives us nuts. We, we constantly are looking on our Facebook group pages and things like that, that are for Disney planners and vacation families and people who are just fans of Disney and constantly talking about how depressed we are and how bummed out we are that we can't go back into the parks. <sighs> so I'm hoping that even with some of the like regulations that they might have on um, not being able to necessarily like go full force into the way it was before, maybe even just a little bit, even if it was with temperature checks, any of that stuff, um, I would even wear a mask. I don't care. I just want to be able to go back to Walt Disney World and spend some magical time with my family. Yes, that is our general itinerary, our general outlook of what we're going to be doing for our upcoming 2020 Walt Disney World vacation. Now the plan is, is that if it does get um, to where the parks are still closed due to the coronavirus, we are not canceling our vacation. We're just going to be pushing it back and putting it to whenever we can reschedule it. So either way, you're going to stick around with us, even if it's for just the, uh, you know, the current time that it's going to be for us to go to the Walt Disney parks that we have planned, or you're going to be staying with us even a little bit longer as we get through this craziness until we can get back into those parks. But either way, we're still going and we still are going to be doing lots of Disney fun here every single day on our YouTube channel, Fridley for Disney. Okay. So thanks for joining us and please leave a comment down below if you're going on a Walt Disney World vacation, if you're going in the fall like us, 
um, and or if you had a vacation plan that's been pushed back um, and what your thoughts are on all that. I would love to chat with you and um, you know, just get your thoughts. Let's talk Disney, okay? All right, you guys have a magical, wonderful day. All right, bibbidi-bobbidi-boo, bye!